Oh, fuck, nice. I'm Gandhi. I got Russia, which is not bad if you get horses. Okay, I got war elephants. I'm gonna spam war elephants like crazy and attack with those. Um, the problem, I, I, I'm gonna have huge happiness problems because I'm not gonna be able to spam cities. Yeah. So I'm gonna focus so I'm on gonna a couple focus. of couple of higher production cities. Uh, try to get lots of production, and I'll, I'm gonna hope that you will sort of uh, fill in the space. Yeah, I'll try. But you know, Russia is also production focused. So. Are you also lagging as hell? Uh, I don't know. First turn. What are we researching? Um, I'm thinking, hang on, I'm just looking at the map right now. What are we dealing with here? We have a grass map, it looks like. Well, you get a pretty cool starting position. Let's go for horses because that gives me a huge advantage. Okay, I agree. Let's go animal husbandry. <coughs> okay, looks like I can settle on my first spot. Yeah, I got everything I need here. Yeah, I think you got a pretty nice spot for a city there. Yeah, lots of food that's gonna be beneficial for my Indianization. Okay, let's um uh I would yeah, I'm gonna make a scout right away, I think. Gonna um head out, scout at the map before it's too late. I have a fucking mountain that might be useless. At least I have a lot of rivers, that's good. Yeah. So I got gold, that's nice. Spices, okay. Lots of hills. Alright, I like this start. I do have stone, that's okay, but you know, a luxury would be nice. I do have silver, but that's a better way. Dice, okay. I like I like the map size, I think it turned out pretty good. Might be a tad too big, but oh, fuck it. It'll do. Yeah, Sorry? She scrolled pretty far. Oh well. Just so that we're on the same page, we ignore wonders and we ignore religion, right? Um, not sure. Um, right now, uh, I'm, it's probably too early to think too far ahead. I mean, if you see a good opportunity, speak up. I wouldn't rule anything out. Yeah, okay. Let's see how it goes. Well, you, you know that I like the pyramid opening and I'm skipping that one. For obvious reasons, um, I don't know what the pyramid opening is. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I like to go for the pyramids early on because I like the two extra workers. It's a cheap way to get workers. I'm okay with you doing that. I mean, pyramids, liberty for fast expansion. I think liberty is pretty good. I think you should probably go full liberty. I should probably go full tradition for my fucking Indian bullshit. What's actually your bonus? I have less happiness from citizens, but I have, I mean, less unhappiness from citizens, but more unhappiness from cities. 
Oh. So yeah. I can build tall cities, but I cannot build many of them. That actually might be good for this map. It's not good for playing aggressive. That's the. But yeah, I mean pyramids. Uh, I think pyramids might be pretty good. Yeah, go for it. Spam a lot of cities. Uh, make pyramids. Make a lot of workers. Make a lot of cities. I think that's a good strategy for you. And I will try to you know, sort of back it up with a couple of good cities, like I don't know, three, four, maybe. You go. You set aim for like I don't know at least five, six cities. Yeah, cities. five. I think five. Yeah. In the first hundred turns. Well, assuming we had a hundred turns, hopefully we'll have Defined killed them by turn you. fifty. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, I'll f we'll probably make like maximum 130 turns in the time. Yeah. They should sure taking their time. We seem to have a lot of mountains. That's interesting. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm proposing we focus on a chariot archer rush with my war elephants. Uh, sure. That means we need the wheel, right? Yeah, the wheel. It yeah, unlocks, wheel unlocks it for both of us. Of course, we'll need to scout the map. I mean, if they're like mega far away, um, any sort of rushing might be difficult. Yeah. But wheel is good anyway. We have a lot of rivers. That means we can use the water mill, so. Yeah, of course, before we get there, we should get the prerequisites up. Do you have any uh, granary bonuses, dear? Uh, that's pretty far away. Pretty far away? Yeah, no, I don't see anything. Uh, yeah, no, nothing. I have loads of sheep, but that's not a granary bonus. <coughs> Do you? No, I don't have anything for granary. I'm just thinking ahead what the next technology should be. Suppose we both have stuff to mine, but then stone is a bit far away. My, I have gold, but mm, it's probably not the most important. Well, I have a captain of stone, so that's. You have dyes, I have spices, they both require calendar, that might be important. Yeah, yeah too. You're a bit unlucky with that marsh there. Are you still alive? Yes, we're just discussing. We're getting a uh, hold on this uh, team game thing. So I'm guessing we should go like focus on getting like two or three good cities up. I guess two for me with my stupid bonus and three for you. And then starting the army production, maybe roughly. Yeah. Now what the fuck? My map lags. So apparently you forgot to put on turn timer. No, we didn't forget, we just chose not to. Uh, wrong button, Surfax. Uh, uh, yeah, we chose not to. I mean, we, I don't think we forgot to. Yeah, I thought that was oh. intentional. Okay. Well, that's fine. Since, you know, team play, difficult, new concepts. Oh, it seems I'm at the edge of a map right down here, so that's, that's cool. Oh, oh, so that's oh, the edge. Yeah. Really? Oh. Yeah, because my work yeah, doesn't map. show me more map, so I think it is. You're right. Oh, cool. So that fork below that is actually not the map. Okay, I like yeah, this yeah, map then. Yeah. This is good size. Yeah. That means we're going to be able to rush them no problem. <laughs> Uh, 
so that means that basically yeah I think we went basically to the what you were saying what I'm thinking where are they of to the right? it's like a mirror map yeah they are to the right they're mirrored basically so to the left the it's also edge uh, to the left I don't think I can even fit a city there so yeah. Sorry, now I was discussing. Better the discussing than disgusting. True. Okay, I also reached the map at the top on the edge. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I don't get anything for free, do I? The first thing I find is a fucking barbarian encampment. Hey, free gold from clearing a barbarian encampment. Y yeah, if you get a policy. To research next. Do you see any obvious good things? What's your next city gonna need? I suppose calendar would be good to get the spices and dyes online. Yeah, I agree. Then I mining and good. masonry for the pyramids, and then military focus maybe. Yeah, so we hold up the wheel, and I think we're going for the temple of Artemis because he really likes that. Then we probably went archer. Hmm, that's fine, I guess. So what options do we have here? Well, we could try to rush the Great Library. Do you have the production for it? Uh, you only have that hill, basically. I yeah, have two stones. Extra. Extra. Yeah, but stone requires, yeah, but stone requires masonry. masonry. That's not uh, so uh, soon. Yeah, that's that's true. I mean, I do have these two gold hills, which I could put a mine on and maybe rush the library. Yeah, you could. You probably would have a good chance at getting it done. Okay, let's go okay, for that. Let's go for that. Ah, oh, old faithful, nice. That's happiness right there. Very nice. Maybe what do you have? Should horses. I we both have horses. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Horses are really good for me. Uh, what do you think? Should I go for scout or straight for a settler? I uh, always get a scout as the first thing in the game, just to get the map exploration and the ruins. So I would suggest that. But uh, that cut, uh, I might go for a settler and settle right of a barbarian encampment. I think that's a good spot. No. Yeah. Go for it. What are we researching? Bottom? Oh, um, mm -hmm. let's get or let's get mining. Now let me see how my turns are. Yeah, let's do mining and then calendar. That way, we I can start getting my gold online, and then after calend, let's go mining then pottery, and then we'll see how if we can get the uh, great library. Yes, yeah, sure. I already selected mining. Wait, actually, it's three turns. It's too soon. I wouldn't be, have any workers. Maybe we can get more benefit out of something else before that. Mm. 
Hey, uh, hey uh, are there any city states? No. Nope. No. Nope. Uh, but maybe I know pottery. We could go arch. No arch. We could go archery, but that's kind of pointless. No. Uh, we can go for it, you know, just in case we need archers in case there's fast action because uh, we don't have the, uh, you know, uh, we can, mining we has to wait until there's a worker you, anyway. You, you already found him, so agreed, let's go archery. Alright, yep. All right, yep. But getting horse as an animal husband, that's a huge production benefit for me. You bastard. Who? Who is a bastard? Alia. What the fuck is the fountain of youth? Plus ten happiness, so go for it. It's fucking plus ten happiness. Holy shit. Holy shit. So go in for it. I think that's the strongest natural wonder I have ever seen. Oh, they are very, very close. Yeah. So, if I go tradition, when I get the, the pyramids. No, liberty. No, liberty. No, pyramids are in tradition. Pyramids are in liberty. Yeah, okay, sure, but then, yeah, I should go probably Liberty, right, and go yeah, for a production liberty. bonus. Yeah. Wow, I think this is a very small map, I like it. Actually, you know, we should actually, explore you know, should... left. I think we have uh, actually land that we can settle to the left. Yeah, but I'm building like a set land. I have no units, so... Yeah, I'm just saying in the future that, uh, yeah. Because I really feel that this spot will be crucial to hold because we're so close. Agreed. Um, especially, you know, there are nice hills in front of that, so that'll uh, make it difficult to attack that position. Exactly. And it has enough food, you know, to be sustainable, plus this old faithful. Yep. Damn, plus, da plus 10 happiness for, from one fucking thing, that's fucking amazing. That might actually give you one whole extra city. Yep. I was really hoping to get swordsmen out of the ruins. That would have been that would been really cool. So we're going for mining, right? Yep.
Boom. Death Warriors. Boom. Okay, Gix is Assyria. Siege towers. Those things can be quite a pain in the ass. Yep, yeah, they can't do anything else besides killing cities, so if you if you get them engaged in battle out away from a city, it's no big deal. Yeah, they soak up quite a lot of damage, don't forget that. True. I wasn't prepared and he had five of those things, so I had quite a hard time to to form a line or anything. Thinking I'll forward settle around where my warrior is at top. That uh, looks good. I mean, you get the Fountain of Youth, you get... And you get also two mountains, which give you, like, a really easy thing to defend. Yeah, and the fucking yeah. hills. I'm a bit concerned about food, but um, I guess I'll have an internal trade route for that. You also have two sheep, that's not that bad. Hello, Spearman. There's a fuck ton of ruins on this map. <laughs> There's a fuck ton of ruins on every map you probably don't explore enough to actually get them. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's such a small map, I mean. I don't know, looks pretty standard amount of ruins for me. Yeah, maybe. Oh no, the evil team is ahead in score. There's no evil team here. They're the good guys. Oh no, the good guys are ahead in score. Americans, right? <laughs> no, no, we're the good guys. It's in the good looking guys. Yeah, that's oh, it, because, because you're the Americans, right? This is about Americans look, being good looking. Americans are fat slobs. We just happen to be more good looking than you. Oh, snap. That was one below the belt. Yeah. Ooh, I have marble. That's cool. True. I'm thinking after worker I'll try to quickly rush out the settler uh, meanwhile I will improve the gold with mines or something like that to get the production up for great library yeah sounds like a plan you have a really nice spot for a city also uh, above your capital agreed agreed and I need to figure out a place where to plant my third city Well, <laughs> there actually are a lot of uh, ruins here. <laughs> As I said. Makes me nervous that we're not exploring here on my flank. Makes me nervous as well. Should I go for a worker next, or what do you think? Yeah, why not? I mean, you're not gonna get workers from any other place, you're probably gonna want to start improving shit. Um, the um, main danger here is if they do some early uh, rushing assaults, but I guess we'll just have to gamble on that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see anything when I was scouting uh, Austria's uh, Vienna. There weren't any units around, so, hmm. But, you know. Austria? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's the I mean. <laughs> She could be going straight for siege towers. Okay, let's go straight for writing now. All right. Even more horses. Wow, 
What's more valuable, old faithful or horses? Horses, probably, because old faithful requires a dedicated uh, population to work it, which you're not going to have for a lot of turns. Yeah, but if I move to horses, I lose the river, which is also bad. Yeah, river's no big deal, I think. I think the horses are going to be better for you. Like, like where your warrior currently is, I think that's a pretty good spot. Yeah, I'm thinking either that or the place where the ruins were. That gives me, you know, access to more food. So I'm, I'm well, still... Remember, fine. you're not going to be able to use that many food anyway. Your cities are not going to go that big. True enough. You just need, like, two good food tiles. Oh, barbarians. Fuck you. We didn't build the Temple of Artemis, that's a bit concerning. I'm gonna try to circle around, scout them on the backside as well. I think, you know what, I think I'll settle on the forest next to the river across from the cows. Um, you're going to want to settle on a hill for sure, because that will grant your city extra strength, which is going to be crucial when it comes to any pew-pew. Okay, I'm going to squeeze in a quick arch here, here before I get to my settler, and then I'll do the great library. Mm, we have quite a lot of barbarians back here. It's probably like a spawn spot over them somewhere. What does improving forces give? More production? Yeah. Okay. Improving mine also gives more production. Yeah. My scout is flanked by fucking barbarians. Annoying little bastard somewhere. Three turns to writing. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Okay. Um, should I go for Great Library before my settler? If you want it, you should. Might be quite valuable. See how many turns a settler is going to be. Probably a lot at this stage. How much production do you do? Add your capital. Nine. Nine. Eight. A settler is yeah, eight turns. Mm. But 
which is the I great did. library is way more. I'm going to have to do the settler anyway. Yeah. Hang on, maybe you should go calendar first, then we can start improving the luxuries. Oh, although actually we don't have the workers for. Do you want to improve those dice? We can go grab plant, uh, plantations quickly before the library. You're gonna have a worker coming right away. Yeah, I think I'll. But now I probably I will go first to get the horses to get more production out. Okay, fuck it. Then. Okay, fuck it then. Let's leave it to writing. Oh, one uh, shit, three shit. Please give me swordsman. Ah, well, bike for experiment. Yes, yeah, smart of me. Purchase the tile that the fucking barbarians are on. Yeah, genius. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I got it down to six turns. six turns. Cool. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of land to the left of us. I mean, look at there, to their right. Hey, what the fuck? Vienna is taking damage. <laughs> Probably they have a barbarian problem. Why is Vienna taking damage? Oh, oh look at uh, this. Because, because barbarians. barbarians. Oh, we, found, we found another natural wonder. That's cool. Okay, uh, oh, it's a religion now? one. It cannot be worked anyway because it's on a fucking mountain. Yeah, you, you can still work it. Why not? Yeah, mm. you can work it. Then it's not very useful, I think. Okay. I like how, the, I, how the other team is speaking to us. to us. Should I hold my settler or should I move yeah. Say what again, I had a connectivity again. problem. What do you think? Should I hold my settler and wait for the uh, warrior or should I move it? So mining, mining. mining. Should I risk moving him or should I wait for the, the, for the fighter to back him up? Um. Up to you, there are a lot of barbarians around. I would not risk it, at least, you know, out of vision. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah, perhaps I would. move on to the hill on the other side of the river. You know, move safely. You know, barbarians only have two movement, don't move within range. Let's not forget that we also have two friendlies. To US friendly, which makes it even more fun. I think the map generator fucked up because I see like one, two, three, four, five, five sheep basically all on the same spot. Yeah, yeah that's nice. I could actually start the Great Library, I would have it out in 15 turns. I have it in nine. I have it in nine. Yeah, when you go ahead. 9 plus 4, Nine that's a total of 13, since I'm going to get my settler out first. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and actually I'll get more production up soon. Yeah, so I think I'll go for greenery now. Or should I go for a second settler? Now I go for greenery first. Yeah. <laughs> You should probably build an archer. an archer. You only got that one with a shitty warrior. Agreed. Okay, what text next? What do we need to... Uh, what's your, what are your pyramid ambitions? Yeah, I think we should go for that. Because I really want the quarries. Alright.
do you have a monument out? Yes, I do have a monument. I think I should go for free, free settler next turn. What do you think? From Liberty. If you can get it safely to a place, sure, go for it. And have the yeah. happiness. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's, yeah, a yeah, it's a good idea. It's the timing. Yeah, I mean, um, the problem is I don't see a spot to settle. That's um. Maybe fill in the safe space between us, like plant the current settler, like where near it, where it is right now, and the second one above the uh, old faithful. I'm actually wondering if we have some good land behind us. Yeah. Good point. Yes, we have a lot of dwells too. We can share if you need more. Oh well. That's very generous to you guys. So should I settle the sheep or should I settle where it stands right? Or should I? S yeah, I think I should settle the sheep. After, After uh, uh, what do you your think? eventual After defeat, you will be remembered as being very generous. Thank you for saving me that unit maintenance. Um, I don't know where you should settle there. I mean, I mean, I think I'll take the sheep next to him. That seems like a good spot to take. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's not good to lose the sheep, but man, eh, fuck it. I think I'll settle. I know where to settle the second one. I'm thinking about settling it behind us, just to have you know a safe city. But it kind of looks crappy. Oh, oh, production, production, food. I don't know. I think it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, where do you see production? The two hills, the two three, hills. four hills, three, four around, hills your around your settler. Five, six I was hills. planning to move it back, to, you know, to the to the river and settle it next to the river, right below the Mount Faithful Mountain. Wait, which settler are you talking, about? Are you talking about? I'm talking about the, the, one on the, one. the one on the left. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about the one on the left. I mean, below the mountain, below the Mer Mount Kali Ash. Yeah, I'd say you yeah, can I'd settle you maybe can on the marsh on or the something. Marsh or something. And I was thinking one more to the left to go right next to the river. Yeah, could be. Yeah, depends could on what's be. there, depends actually. What's be careful, there's yeah. a barbarian settlement, like, yeah, five see, times made, from you. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm waiting for one turn, I'm getting my archer out next turn. <sighs> Should I go for what? Granary? What are your options? Granary or library? I, Temple of Artemis is useless, we're already building it. I think I'll go for a granary. Oh. Granary is kind of a waste of uh, production if you don't have any of the granary bonuses, uh, bonus resources around. So if you don't have anything else, maybe make a second worker so you can start improving your other cities as well, and then maybe a, another archer. Because granaries cost quite a lot, and you know the the extra they provide. I mean, it pays off. I don't know. It, it, it's not that much food, so it, it's usually only worth I it if you actually have the tears and the wheat. I think I'll go for a scout, and in two turns I'll start on the on the pyramids anyway. Sounds good. Sounds good. So the others are both going tradition, so they are definitely not going pyramids. Yeah, that's why I'm going for the pyramids. 
Yes, so they're looking tradition. Very interesting. This might mean they don't plan to city spam, which means we can be as aggressive as we can get away with. Very nice. I have I'll have three cities out soon, so I think I'm not doing not too bad. Yeah, maybe yeah. You know, then then you need to make the cities good and start cranking out some units and keep pushing it. You know, we need to push the front line towards the enemy, so to speak. Found more cities. Oh, we're going into religion. For fuck's sake. That's a, that's very surprising. I really didn't expect that to happen. Why would you want religion here? Well, I suppose someone does. Well, mm. well, there are things well, you can do with religion, you. defensive bonuses, etc. But, uh, it's uh, probably not the best use of the production. Yeah. Especially there are no religious city states, you cannot get like free religion from city states. Um, what do you think? I'm gonna settle to the left of the spices above me. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. I would say that looks really good. All right, grape library in. A, a, Let's see how many turns I can squeeze it out. Eight with turns. Starving. starving. Let's, go starving into, let's go into dice next. Um, plantations. Agreed. Then the watermelon chariot archer. Agreed. Actually, we should probably unlock bronze working first in case we have iron. That's going to be a nice boost to production. Yeah, it's special for me. So, uh, calendar, bronze working, and then the wheel. Sure. Plan to have three workers by then, so it might, might be good. Alright, 10 turns to library. I think it's early enough to get it. I think you should. I mean, you should be cranking out some pretty heavy production out of your Still capital. Still raining barbarians for you guys? Yes. I didn't hear that. What? I asked if it's still raining barbarians. Sure. Always. Whatever you say, my friend. Thirteen turns to pyramids. Not, not bad. Twelve turns, even better. Ah, uh, we're doing calendar, right? Confirm. Wait. E um, do you want calendar or bronze working first? Do you want to get the uh, dice quickly, or can you wait? I can wait, I have plus two happiness, so I'm okay, good. Okay, let's go bronze okay, let's working, go bronze calendar work. the wheel. Sure. I'm very interested in iron.
Okay, so Gix has two cities. He expanded pretty early. That's where my guy got killed. So his capital is somewhere else. It's even further to the right. You can see one of his cities, but that's his second city. Okay. I think I'm the first one to have three cities, actually. Confirm. Make sure your cities are on production focus and lock down the other tiles. That's going to give you some extra production. Well, it's too late now, but if they're like low population cities, you know about that, right? Yeah. I think I could go clean out the barbarians behind us. I suggest you send something to the uh, towards the enemy because there's a huge fucking fog there. Oh, yeah, I'm, really I'm using scouting. a scout. I'm using a scout. You see, I'm sending a scout that way. Do not see. Yep, he's still next to the capital. He was engaging barbarians, but now I'm sending him there. Oh, truffles! That's a nice, nice thing. So, it was a good choice to settle the city there. Yep, good choice. So what's up? This is really cool. I like a team game. Uh -huh. So far. I mean, haven't seen much of the enemy yet. <laughs> well, you, it's like every early game. What do you see? Barbarians. Yeah. I agree. Oh. Too, too many barbarians as usual. You know, actually, this, uh, this mumble looks more empty than usual. Who knows? Could it be mm -hmm. our fair weather friends have deserted? Maybe they're playing internet spaceships. Mm, this is a possibility. Though I haven't heard any pings for a while. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's just because I have it muted. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I I turned off the ping sound a long time ago. Yeah, how fucking oh, annoying is that? Christ, uh, I would. Uh, see. Okay, wait. Did are you are you still there, Gigs? I remember Gigs sitting in and do something. Uh, I guess push this button at least. Are you going for honor or what? Are you going for the statue of Zeus? No plans for that yet, but I need to do more planning on that angle anyway. Oh, there's iron under my city. Cool. Yeah. How are you liking the uh, assault on the CFC and all that? You've been kind of seeing me posting on the forums and stuff. Uh, it's been interesting. Um, it's kind of unsurprising in a way. Yeah. You know, I forgot. Time. Who are you with? Uh, Gigs? Is it Lon? Yep. Yeah. So, we, you know, we were one of the first guys to have to kind of get shoved out and displaced. But, you know, if you're more than two or three regions away with jump fatigue, you can't really defend. And 
but at the same time, that means that you'd have to consolidate even further to be defensible as a coalition, but there's not enough income in that kind of a small area to support all these people. So, I mean, no one in EVE, if there's a determined enemy, really has space that they can live in right now. So, yeah. yeah. Basically, Makes everyone sense. in EVE is living on the premise that no one else cares enough to fight with them. Pretty much. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my fucking god, where did that one come from? I always thought EVE has like a hundred times too much space. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, a year's time all time. You must. I think I'll go for the thing which gives you more money from stone. Um, the ha 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 Halicarnassus? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a waste, oh, of, production, waste of production, I think. But it's a mob you have some archers. Two, st two stones and one marble. Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. Uh, what were you saying, um, Jameson? Uh, was I saying something? Oh, hey, check out those two. Um, well, anyhow, so, uh, what are we going for next? I'm uh, gonna try to wheel. The wheel, right. Yeah. yeah, that works now. So let's see. You, Have you, uh, yeah, tried, uh, tried that any, uh, chainsmith? Um, we need to, once we get the wheel up, we really need to crank out some of the chariots and shit. Yeah, Great. I think, uh, yeah. we make, like, uh, at least three units each and then go on the offensive, at least harass them. We probably won't have enough strength to do much to the cities, but we can harass them strongly. So as soon as the wheel is researched, we build like at, like uh, at least one unit in every city. Yeah. I'm still stuck building pyramids for six turns, but... Yeah, that's close enough. I'm sorry, you were saying something? Yeah. Have you tried out the sob waxing any tunes, man? No, I've been cloaky camping CO2 for two weeks. <laughs> I have some slots left, so I was going to try it out. Yeah, so how's that going? I mean, uh, it looks like everything but Declan right now is just being dropped. Yeah. Oh, no, Declan is also getting dropped. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, al it's... we're also abandoning Declan. It's full of uh, newts. There's like no real activity that can happen there right now. Yeah. Congratulations. On what so we what to choose. Go for iron working. These swordsmen? Yeah, swordsmen, and it's the highest ranking tech we can have. Takes a crap ton time to research 23 turns. And we wanted to go offensive, so makes sense now. Uh, how much iron do you have? Two. I also have two. Yeah, okay. Um, sure. Take a bit of time to get to that iron, but Then yeah. it would be Philosophy, philosophy. Um, yeah. Oracle, no, no, can build the Oracle National College, it's, we don't have libraries yet, we can't. Well, I mean, uh, how's your library situation? Uh, I guess you cannot yeah, get them up before you build the units. The yeah. units. Exactly. You have to do the units and the, the libraries. Yeah, exactly, libraries. yes, exactly. Alright, I'll pick the uh, iron working. Cool.
Okay, I think I'll <laughs> pop out another settler and then go all war elephants. If I knew I had iron there, I would have settled. How much culture make are you making? Nine. Nine. Mm. How did you get ahead of me? Um. Huh? I have no idea. I have eight. Oops. Interesting. Nine from cities. Um. I I have I I'm tradition that gives me a bonus to culture. Ah yeah right. In my capital, make a plus three. Ah yeah right right. Okay, so what I'm doing next, settler, then military, and then I'm going to pop a third city somewhere close to the enemy, and then we can, yeah, then we spam military we spam and, military and, and like, uh, get yeah, close, uh, to close to them. I think I will build my next city in the middle, the, right to that next, you see six iron? Yep. Yep. So I think I'll pop a city there if, if you give me the ability, or you're going to pop one yourself there. I the approve of your choice there, um, though on the marsh, what? I don't see any marsh. Oh, that. Uh, don't build cities on flatlands. You definitely need a hill. Hill gives you extra defense. I would possibly even suggest going on the sheep to the right of the iron. Because that's a very defensible position there. Which one? The one below or the one above? To the, to the, to right. the, to the right. Two to the right. Ah, uh, to to the uh, yeah, oh yeah, next to the mountain. Yes, yeah, that might actually close our line pretty well. Yeah, that's gonna yeah, be really good to defend. Really good to defend. Yeah, and that would be really pissing off Vienna. I love the idea. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna close. I'm gonna settle to the uh, like above that. Yeah. I think I'll divert some forces to take care of a fucking barbarian encampments behind us because we're starting to get annoying. Please scout the, uh, your your right side first, because I'm no, really so afraid I'm there's, really something afraid there. there's something there. Yeah, I already sent my scout there. He'll heal up and then move next turn. He is in Saint Petersburg. He's inside the city, sir. So. Sure, you don't lose your pyramid workers to those spearmen there. Yeah. What are we researching? Mathematics, maybe? Let's see what ties in with our strategy of expanding towards the enemy. We could take Colosseum for the happiness. Composite bows would also be nice. Yeah. I don't know. How's your happiness currently? Minus three. Oh shit, then uh, yeah, for sure, Colosseums. So, so I can get some from dice. I'll upgrade dice next turn. 
uh, yeah. start operating yeah. dice, so it will take some time. So uh, I don't know, Colosseum or or mathematics or construction. I don't know. You choose. Let's go construction. Sure. The enemy is not building any army, says demographics. That is very strange. What the fuck are we planning? They probably think it's a nice SimCity single player style game. <laughs> or maybe we're holding off to get, get math mathematics and ass fuck us. Our flew on this map, Siege Towers will take way too long to roll in. Yeah, I like how yeah, hilly it how is. Hilly. Yeah, exactly. Cool, another free worker. I think I'll be done with workers for the rest of the game. Four workers should be enough. Agreed, yeah. You need to spam a lot of military next whenever these things finish. Two turns and I start building chariot archers. Exactly. Hopefully they have a crap ton of hills, that's bad for those things, but yeah. Huh, I started scouting and I still see no enemy cities, that's confusing. Did you no, see where take the a look? Okay. Um, Austria is um, still, still on one city. Uh, did you see where the fucking barbarian went? I didn't see anything about any barbarians. Uh, they, um, Kicks still has two cities. Vienna has only Vienna. They haven't uh, really expanded. They're playing it really tall. It sounds like. That is very strange. Oh, so there's a mountain range right below my city at the edge of a map near St. Petersburg, which is really good. Makes a nice funnel between those two mountains. You see the hills? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's good. I mean, we don't have wonders out. We don't have... I don't know what the fuck is going on. One turn till I start building military. Same. Way, 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 way. Congratulations, Mr. Zarpax. Hello, trap ton of workers. So we should go for chariot archers, right? I think yep. three should be enough. Three or four, yeah. Yeah, something like that. We don't even have a temple of Artemis out. I don't get it. There's a captain of the yeah. Poor Austria here is just. There's 
three barbarians in the territory. I think now this is going to be numbers like 10, 11, 12, 12 each other. I don't know. What's I don't more, know. The barbarians know, are like swordsmen, like swordsmen and spearmen. And spearmen. Yes, we have spearmen, haven't seen swordsmen yet, but I know guys still see it looks strange. What the fuck? You do you really have so many barbarians? I mean they killed our share already, so Oh yes we do. There's like five or six encampments just around our cities between the two of us. See, whenever I don't take honor, I tend to regret not taking honor. It's one of those things like, uh, you know, long game, you go, oh yeah, well, you don't need honor as much. You know what? I'll sure. build a crepus super super before I build but, uh, my chariots. You know, fucking barbarian. No, no, please hurry the chariots. We need an army out now. Don't care about any bonuses. We need to show military strength to get them to uh, yeah, get okay. scared. Yeah, okay. Problem is, I'm running out of money <laughs> fast. I'm right at minus three right now, so I basically have no economics. Um, yeah, that's that's yeah. You need to work some gold. Those dice might help, right? You're gonna get some extra yeah, gold from the dice. dice. Yeah, I'm improving them, but that's slow. Okay, I see him engaging some barbarians right below me, right below my scouts. Good. I, I think you can like uh, turn back towards the center and uh, take it, take your scout towards your city spot, and then make sure you get that center spot safe. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Do you have a settler ready for that, or when do you plan to take it? Uh, three turns, I get a chariot out, and I'll be building a settler. Alright, perfect. Then I think on some four cities you'll want to get your libraries up. We don't want to fall behind on science. Yeah, yeah. agreed. At least I have a worker, I mean, this... Not lagging behind on tile improvements is a as, good thing. As, um, how is Novgorod with regard to? I mean, um, I see you building a water mill. Uh, can you perhaps build a caravan uh, faster? That might bring you some extra income if you're lacking. Um, Matt doesn't give me income because we cannot trade. I think we can. I think we can. Yeah, but it will be like an internal trade. I think route. it will I not be internal. I think it'll be normal with gold. Well, it takes the same time to build a caravan as it takes to build a okay. thing. Okay. It takes 25 to so fuck it. Okay, if, if I put, put it in production, it will take 13 turns. Now that I like a lot more. Yeah, for sure. Especially since, you know, you're not happy. There's no point growing anywhere when you're not happy. Yeah. Maybe make sure all your other cities are using their population wisely as well, not spending it on food, and that's not needed. 
Well, Moscow is all on production. St. Petersburg. Well, it gets both food and production. I cannot really do more production versus less food. What are we researching? I'm thinking, what can we use here? Math? Circus, you need the happiness. Yeah, I get it. What? What? Look. Look. Yeah, he just settled next to us. Fuck. <laughs> but at least we have a target for attack, so. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna take that fucker down. Two turns till I get my first chariot out. You get one in one turn, so. I think we're pretty good. Yeah, I'll build it yeah, like build four, it like... and then hopefully you'll also be able to attack. We'll attack from both sides and kill the fucking city. Yeah, agreed. We also need a melee unit to capture it, of course. <laughs> Oh, you have that scout, right? Bring it down around to get ready to capture it, I guess. Yeah. I was, yeah. You motherfucking Austria. What are you think <laughs> you're doing there? You just realized it. You do know that that's not gonna end well, right? I, I yeah, I don't the sense well. How does this end? Uh, like, how would this possibly end well for anyone? We're like diametrically opposed here. <laughs> I mean, there's suicide and there's suicide, you know. Yeah. This, this is like bringing the whole new level to the table, so. My biggest challenge is to get gold to upgrade my fucking units. Yeah, oh, I think I that's not gonna happen. Wow, oh, yeah, look, I have six iron right below Moscow in grabbing distance. That is truly good. Meh, whether it's useful is a different story. I mean, we're gonna need that much iron anyway. I mean, what do you do with iron swordsman? It's pretty much the only thing. Long swords. We, it could all end with long swords, you know. Well, maybe. Still, um, melee units not that useful, I think. Yeah. If we had water, then iron would be more useful. Maybe we should start thinking about roads. I couldn't afford roads so, even know, if I tried. Guys, I'm stuck on the choose production button, so... What? 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 Why? Where? Uh, I don't know, the button's stuck. Can you try, like, shift-clicking it? Or, I guess, rejoin if it doesn't go. I seem to recall some forums saying that shift and enter can be used to bypass that, but it's never happened to me, never had a chance to try. Yeah, no, that's not working, so I'm going to go ahead and rejoin. Okay. Then we shall wait. So what's our grand plan? Kill them with, Kill pointy, them sticks. with pointy sticks. Well, 
That city, it's in a pretty defensible location, I must admit. Uh, it's gonna be challenging to kill that fucker. Well, make sure you don't lose units, right? Don't suicide into anything. If you need to just run away, um, worst comes to worst, we can just harass. Good thing is the barbarians seem to be to be doing a good job at harassing them. We are good to go. Cool. I guess mathematics is next. The technology to get some a catapult, at least one of them. Yeah. And then maybe we should think about currency. Maybe and currency and then philosophy for national college. Maybe we will some at some point have the libraries up. Like my two cities are good with production, yes, not good with production. Like five barbarians attacking one of your capital cities. We paid them we off. We paid them off. We killed kind of enough at the beginning, I guess. We did too, and they don't stop coming. Well, we have still three encampments next to our capitals. They're plenty. Yeah, I count at least six in camp. Lucky you. I know. It's the lo luck of the Austrians, of the Syrians. The press Are button. Press button? Yeah, this, I had to play them now two times, and it's kind of getting annoying. It's like, uh, I'm getting tired of this damn civilization. So when it comes to attacking, I think I'll go between the two sheep right next to me, and that way I can easily retreat, and also... Uh, sorry, I was um, away pissing, so could you please repeat that? I'm just thinking where just I will attack from. I think I'll go from between the two sheep that are like in the middle, yeah. uh, and also towards the right where there's that, uh, like, uh, a bend in the river. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck, swordsman. Huh? You have actually a pretty good spot to settle behind your capital. 
next to the dice and the rivers. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm not gonna have the happiness for that for a long time. I'm gonna settle a third at the third. top. I think I'm getting myself a second chariot in my capital. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Fuck, I just lost my scout. Fuck. Mm. Annoying. It got surrounded and gang gangbanged by barbarians. Fuck. Rip. I think I'll actually have to kill the barbarians first. They're kind of attacking my capital. It's nothing too crazy, but still annoying. Could you also maybe divert? someone to kill the spam points behind us um, I'm a bit worried about the timing I think we need to focus the city first because otherwise it's gonna grow and get nastier okay but I need three chariots to attack it anyway so I'll have to wait for another five turns to get three Two yeah, I'm just saying uh, I can't get to the spawn points and kill them. That's gonna take like 10, 15 turns and then coming back and oof. Yeah, true. Well, what's actually the bonus of your elephants? Uh, I don't know. It's more powerful and it can move through any terrain without some penalty. I don't know which penalty. It's a stronger chariot archer basically. That is good. I sure wish I could afford roads. <laughs> Can you get a another scout another in Saint scout Petersburg, in Saint Petersburg once Petersburg. you get the cherry target on to, to take that city? Mm, yeah, I can. Shit, I hope that won't kill that scout. Well, rip will. Yeah, fuck a city can. Hmm. Well, what else? Whatever happens, happens. I could get a spearman out also. Yeah, that would definitely survive at least one turn of city strike. Gotta make sure there's a good approach. Well, from the right. No, not from the right. Actually, from my side. You could get into the city with uh, uh, with uh, like only one turn in his shooting range. Mm, I don't know, whatever we'll see. We'll see. Uh, between the two yeah. sheep, you get on that uh, grass, and then boom, in one turn you are in, yeah. the, city. You are in yeah. the city. Yeah, yeah, I see. Um, holy shit, man. As I said, I'll have to divert units because there's simply too many barbarians. Yeah, I'll come help you. That's, that's too bad. crazy. Meanwhile, I'll be leaving more elephants. <laughs> Because once we got this army, we'll take out the city and just keep going. Yes. I 
how's it going in Barbaria land? These are dark times. Still with lots of barbarians, you know. Yeah, we just got hot dropped as well. Yeah, I'm given annoyed. That, uh, given that you have like 20% more score, I think your problems have not been as severe. They're annoying enough. Hey, that score is just those couple of wonders. Yeah. And the fuck ton of all Just a couple of wonders, he says. What should I go? Spearman or Chariot Archer? I think a Spearman, one Spearman might be good. No, I think I'll go for another Chariot first. Yeah, Chariots are more uh, versatile. Well, fuck. I'm down to four signs. Um, that's um, not good. Yeah, I'm out of money. Are you working your money tiles? Yes. Work them harder. The upkeep on those workers, huh? Actually, shouldn't they be free? No. What? What do you mean free? Yeah. Doesn't it like give you a free work? And doesn't a free work usually come without upkeep? Okay, oh, yeah, those frees my... maybe, yeah. I actually should have just one worker. Okay, I got my e plus two plus eight signs back. I think that's good. Diverted some idiots to. Yeah, well, I diverted some idiots to doing less stupid shit. Okay, we need to go in the offensive now. I think you can leave that like warrior and archer back there to defend together with the city, so that'll be okay, I think. How many units do you have out? I have leave two out, two more building, more building, and then I'll leave build the your archers also behind when we are yeah. done. Yeah. I actually have a spearman up, up uh, above, so I'm gonna bring that down to capture that city, I guess, and uh, you can focus on more chariot archers. Uh, maybe composite bowman over there. Um, um, if, if you feel like it, sure, go for it. 
I guess the yes. movement yes. bonus in the chariots yes. isn't that relevant on such a hilly map. Exactly. After mathematics, let's go philosophy. I'm gonna get my science uh, moving uh, after this war starts. Sure. I don't think they have any military at all, so we gotta push hard, hard, hard. Yeah, he didn't build it on a hill. That city is so going down. Um, shit. Um, I would like you to have that city, or I mean, I don't know. Can you support that city? Should I have it? What was your question? Mm, I think I could support it. Yes, because I have. Yeah, I can. Because yeah, it should be good. Okay, get that warrior over there then need to capture it then with a melee unit. So the ward party of roaches. I guess you can come from the left with the warrior onto you the wine the and then one turn until the uh, attacking us this whole time. You can in one turn capture it. Faster I guess to build something than to move that warrior. I mean I'll have a chariot archer out next turn. It's like five turns to move that warrior there. That should be fine. I can have a spearman in six turn, turn warrior built in four turns in St. Petersburg. Yeah, but St. Petersburg yeah, doesn't have a good approach. good approach. Well, actually, okay, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, fine, do whatever is convenient for you. I'm just saying, if you want that city, get in position with a melee unit as well. Uh, I think a spearman would take me six turns, a warrior s s four turns. I could build a warrior in St. Petersburg and take the city, or should I go for a spearman? What do you think? Probably better, Probably better go for a. How, how, what's your how, strength in your, your warrior? Strength in your warrior? Uh, eight. Well, I should probably oh, survive should probably one survive city survive strike. strike. But, um, yeah, you know. I think I should go for a spearman. It's more secure, and we'll have to fuck the city for a couple of turns anyway. Yeah. I guess we'll see who captures it, who'll just who's who's close when it's time. Yeah. Actually, I think I could support that, uh, though I need some gold to buy tiles to that uh, fucking um, Fountain of Youth. Yeah, or we could do that. I mean, I'm good with both. The city does have, like, silver, vine, and turtles, so it's not a yeah. bad city. Yeah. Well, whatever, just build a melee unit. I mean, you'll need it anyway, right? So it's not going to be waste either way. Yeah, yeah, I'm building it. Who is India gonna nuke this game? Huh? Bring it! Atomic bomb on the way. You're gonna 
but you would use nukes. Elephants. The only thing nuclear about your elephants is the stuff that comes out of their back end. Oh, oh yes, they can definitely shit you to death. That's <laughs> that's very true. <clear. laughs> So, philosophy next. Yeah. Probably get your chariot archer out of there, heal it up. Well, let's all get in range at the same time. Don't put only one unit in range of the city. I just wanted to scout. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna hold my um, elephants out of his range until they're all there. I got one, two, three more coming. Okay, I have like one, one, two, three, four chariots. Should I build more? I think you're good for now. Good Build for your now. cities Build up your now cities and up get, up your get your science. Uh, I think I'll go for a watermill in Moscow first. And now I go for a circus. I really need to get uh, out of this bed. Uh, what were we? Uh, we are philosopher, right? Yep. Oh, Assyria has literally zero army. I think we can handle the barbarians with the three units we have. Say again. Say again. I think with the three units we have, we can clean clear out both encampments we have at the back, and we should be good. Hopefully. Yeah, probably. Now we just Moscow would expand to a useful place and not take useless tiles. I hate it how the IE decides what tile to take. Fucking idiot. Oh cool, the elephants don't have terrain penalties, they're like scouts. Yeah. That's, That's pretty nice. nice. They're slow, but Steady. I know three movement, they're not slow even. Oh, that's convenient. So, Vienna is only at four. We should probably kill Vienna fast. Yeah, I'd say after we uh, deal with uh, Salzburg, we head over there. And we are happy now. That's cool.
I could build Temple of Artemis in 10 turns. Should I go for it? I could do it in 8. But it's more useful to you. Yeah, production for ranged units. I'm pretty much gonna be all ranged units, I think. Yeah, fuck it, I'll go for it. And if not, I get the gold to buy my way to Fountain of Youth. Yep. And I'll think I'll go for a mausoleum of Halikaros in Moscow because that would give me actually an amazing. What would it give you? It will give me plus six gold. Really? Really? Yeah. Each title of stone or marble work gives plus two gold. But are you actually and working them? Working them? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, or or what do you think? I think it's a good choice, no? Well, if you can do it or fast, then there's nothing better to spend the production on. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? I could build a circus, but I already have plus three happiness, so it's kind of pointless. And I always need more gold, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, true. And everything else is pants anyway. So if you're getting the temple, I'm getting that thing. Yeah, works for me. Yeah, works for me. Your microphone Your is open. Microphone is open. No. Is it still? No, it's okay. So I got my spearman out. I'm starting building libraries now. Um, can you uh, direct your chariot archers like from the bottom right of Salzburg? I will take the uh, left, take and, the the left and the top. Y bottom right. You mean from the iron and from the truffles from there? Yeah, from the truffles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, I can fill the entire left flank with three elephants in one turn, and then boom, next turn they will fire, and in like two or three turns that city is gone. Sounds like a plan. Golden Age works just great right now. Best time to get it. Life sucks.
Hey, I could go into Oracle, do the wonder, get one free social policy, uh, and get the free great person, choose a scientist. How does that how does that sound? And we get another free tech. Um the scientist will probably be much more useful as an academy, but uh, in general, I don't know what else have you got rolling? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, right now, when we have built an army, it's the perfect time to improve our cities. Um, don't go too crazy with the wonders, even though we can build them, they're not that beneficial. I mean, if you can improve the cities, do that. Uh, get your education up, get your libraries and everything. Oh, yeah, I see I you're working on I'm, I'm yeah. already yeah. building libraries, yeah. Yeah, and get your national college after that. That's the plan. two or three turns away from the attacking. I just need to wait for my spearman to heal up. Um, have you got your spearman ready? Yes, he is okay, already. I don't ready. actually need to wait. Need Don't, to wait. Ready don't know, ready in two turns. Are you ready also in two turns? Yeah, I'll be. I'll have four chariots on him and a spearman. Perfect. Oh no, barbarians are scouting my cities. Can you move your no, archer no. down, mate? Can you move your archer down? Let's kill Wait, the barbarian and come down back. back. Okay. So we, can, we are rid of and all after of those that, bastards. Let's also kill let's the barbarian and come up there. Up there. To uh, the north. Uh, don't see it. Very far up the Very north. Up the north. Ah, okay, In yeah. the corner. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's kill that one next sure. gonna get a second gold up so I can share some happiness with you. Thank you. Alright, next turn, turn after this we strike. Yeah. Oh, he's moving in units soon. <laughs> too little, too late. Too late enough. You know what time it is, my friends? Is it hammer time? Yes! Oh no, it's an archer. That's right. So, how are we playing this? I'll go follow your lead. Okay, I'll just uh, move my elephants into position next turn and then you can sort of 
fill in the blanks. Uh, you you'll want to get the spearman through the forest, right? In the city. He can go city. next next turn. He'll be in the forest next to the city. Um, don't move him into range yet, that spearman. I'm okay. not moving yet. Okay, actually, I think you can probably move that spearman there. I'm pretty sure next. I can maybe wait one turn and. And too well, late. too late. What else? We'll take that city down. Um, I'm gonna shoot with everything. Let's see how far it takes that city, because that spearman might not, unless you have an instant heal upgrade, it might not survive another turn. Oh, what did you do? Nothing. Oh, you got killed. Oh, you got killed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I think. Um. Yeah. Good. Fine. Uh, one, two, three. It'll take me three turns to take the city. Let's start moving our army to the right. Uh, All right. Well, at least I the units that can shoot the city. A new sure. I can build. I'll, I can build a new spearman in three turns. So, well, no, no, okay, I'll, I'll I'm sure I get it. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm building. I uh, built my library, so I'm going for happiness now. All right. Oh, actually, I should build my settler right to get to forward settle next to Vienna, right? I agree. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, good idea. Six turns. Uh, trade for you. Shit, I should have noticed that earlier. I've been unhappy for like ten turns. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, sorry, I didn't notice that you didn't have dice. Sorry. I'll have some gold for you. Yeah, no problem. So this Salzburg, huh? That's fine place. Man. Yeah, you know, uh, I looks think neat. Somebody a little uh, too over eager. It looks, it looks neat. I mean, I like it. It also would have been settled about oh twenty turns earlier if it were for barbarians. <laughs> Which meant it would them's have been the probably. Breaks. Yeah, that was the breaks. Anyhow, uh. Let's see.
actually think we're toast. More or less. One can hope. Yeah. What are we going for? Um, just a moment, I'll do the military stuff first. Technologies. Um, mm -hmm. You're Russia, right? Do you have any special things to go for? Mm, yeah, but they are very long of Cossacks. So it's like military science. So I guess currency will probably want markets. Markets. Yeah, agreed. All right. Do you need more? No. I might have too many workers. Um, feel free to give me one. I could definitely use workers. Sure. Ah, the big question is which of them is not the free one? Uh, how can I see that if I can't see that? I have literally no idea. Maybe just increase the count to three units. When you get them. Probably it does that. So w you have like a three, no matter which one. Maybe, yeah. Who knows? Who the fuck knows how civilization calculates shit? Yep. Well, I still on one worker, really. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> I got some more important stuff to do. Besides, my cities are like, I mean, they're not really working that many tiles. Yeah, I mean, I could use more workers, but uh, my cities were just designed to conquer territory mostly. But yeah, I'm not making the best use of them. I'm fighting with lag assigning workers, so please hold. Understood. I'm gonna make some caravans. Well, a caravan. Ah, oh, we should probably get sailing up for more caravans next. Spearman is actually going to survive that. 
Fuck. Should have built another spare man. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna gift you one worker. Next turn. Thank you. Um, a proposal trade thing. Wonderful, plus five happiness. Need to get more population in Moscow. Yes, I got it. You get what? The city, I got the city, fuck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need to do hybrid turns already because we, like, you're the host and you get to do more text. Stop complaining. Else. First of all, I'm not the host, and second of all, we're not doing hybrid turns because nobody has until next week. This is not single player. Fast gameplay is a part of multiplayer. Deal with it. I feel every ability to play. Anyhow. Oh no, I accidentally shot a barbarian that was invading Vienna. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, there's plenty of them. Well, feel free to bring it to Vienna, man. You have the army. You don't know half you don't know half of it half of it. <laughs> I've never literally built that before. I hope it actually does something useful for me. Gives you more food. It's very useful. Yeah, I mean, it gives me food, but um, <laughs> happiness problems. <laughs> I don't want food, actually. How can you still have happiness problems? Buy that fountain. I just took a fucking city, man. Yes, but um, get that fountain of shit. Let's see. Are elephants vulnerable to spearmen? They should be, they're like normal, normal mounted units. If they're vulnerable to spearmen, then they don't get the bonus. They're either mounted or they're archers. And. I think they're both. No, you. you uh, from everything I've read on the wikis and stuff, they can't be both. Like, um. What is it? Horse archers from um, uh, not Mongolia, but uh, the Huns are considered archers, not mounted. Therefore, they are not weak to spearmen, but they gain Artemis bonus. Uh, that it's weird how this game, this poorly designed game, uh, typifies things like that. What tree should I take, take next? I finished Liberty. Should I go Tradition or Honor? Oh. I mean, Honor is kind of like... I mean, the only thing it really gives you is the more experience from combat. Less upgrade cost doesn't really matter. 
of enemy units killed. I don't think honor is very useful, probably the tradition until you can get the better ones, next year ones. Yeah. How much cash do you have? I have three, and next turn I will have negative one. <laughs> How much cash are you producing, if I may ask? Negative two. Negative two. Okay, but I mean in total. Like, uh, right. without any minuses? Yeah. I'm producing 11. Mm, I'm producing 13 and I'm at minus, minus 6. Mm, I need 65 to buy a fountain of youth. Uh, that's, that's a that's long, a way, way. long way. Maybe the way. caravan will help. getting a circus up so that's not too bad. I fucking know I'm losing gold. Fucking stupid AI. So what's Vienna like? Circle around it. Oh, barbarians. I'm gonna circle around Vienna from the top, try to come in from the top. That should probably have more terrain to play around with. Yeah. Have you ever noticed I gifted your work? Right? Ah, yes, thank you. I will put that to good use. No problem. I'm getting my settler out and I'm settling near Vienna. I feel we're taking Vienna. Should I yeah, bother? I, said, I think it is technically considered an archer instead of uh, cavalry, so I don't think it's being experienced. What do you think? Should I settle next to Vienna? Or no, no. is it too I late for that specific. already? I, know, I, know huh? I think it's Vienna. better to spend the happiness in actually maintaining Vienna if we manage to take it. Um, make sure to bring a spearman or some melee unit along for Vienna. We'll definitely need two of them because it's a high strength city. No, yeah. I'm just thinking. I'm I'm gonna have a settler next turn. Maybe I should settle back right where we are cleaning the barbarian encampment. You see, it's a pretty good spot in the hills. There, what do you think? Yeah, I think I do that because there's no point right now to forward settle. Whatever gives Whatever. you a better city. I mean, I. Uh, uh, Forward settling has the advantage of uh, whatever you produce there is going to be closer to the front lines. Yeah, it's also a bulk of defense. We might need it, but it's kind of meh right now. I don't feel the big necessity to push. This plus six iron is nice, but it's only like eh, not that important. I could whatever you're saying. Whatever you're saying. I could settle right where right now my chariots are between those mountains and then Assyria would be pretty fucked to attack me because it would be like... Yeah, well, yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah, a good spot. Uh, right where my second chariot, like where my top chariot is. So could settle there when we would have a closed, closed, closed route. Yeah, that's pretty okay. I'd probably go the... Uh, the on the chariot near the sheep. The the one. Uh... Yeah 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 yeah. And the problem is that it's kind of doesn't have any resources. That's a problem. <laughs> well yeah, but you don't really need that much, right, to maintain a city. I mean, if you have the happiness, do you have the happiness? Well, I have plus five right now, but that's mostly because we're right now in the love, like the golden age. Yeah, it's probably better to conserve your happiness, really, but, um, well, whatever you can do. Well, I can get some cheap happiness out. I mean, I can get a si small circus and shit.
Oh, hello, hello, enemy units. There we go. Oh, sounds like Assyria has built something. Austria is now lost in army. I'm thinking, should I settle um, the city and block wait, him? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's quickly uh, grab let's sailing grab before, before currency. currency. That'll open uh, another trade route because I'm going to need to build something in the city and I have nothing else to build there. Does that work for you? Work for you? Yeah. I'm still thinking of a settler. I have a settler sitting around. I could uh, go back and settle the nice spot with silver. So we would have silver to trade. Because then I would have two silver. Oh, we're both gonna oh, get, we're silver both anyway. get silver anyway. Oh, I have silver silver. near Salzburg. Near Salzburg. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Or I could do a forward settle and block a Syria off just in case. I think that's probably better, considering we're rolling heavy military here. Yeah, it's gonna <coughs> be a shitty city, but so what? Yeah, just just you know, a, a fortress. Basically. I must say that the Barbarians are doing a pretty good job keeping a Syria at bay. Yeah, my elephant got into some swarm of Barbarians at the top. have to clean that shit out. Before I yeah. go the offensive. Bring it! Patience! You get your ass fucked soon enough. Bring it! Oh shit, I don't even need to work the Fountain of Youth. Oh fuck yeah, then happiness.
Try not to get killed by his city, please. Ah, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, we want to draw out his units, not let ourselves get drawn in. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, just surround him for, him for now. Yeah, I miscalculated. I thought the city is in a different space. I was a bit blind. Happens, sorry. <laughs> So I'm getting a free person next turn, what would you suggest I go for? Let's see, um, get a scientist, put it on the horses next to Moscow. Why horses next to Moscow? Because uh, that means you can wor work that academy, right? Because you're already working the horses anyway, and you won't lose the horses. Oh, okay. The game is kind of ending. Maybe it's more beneficial to get a free tech now. I'm not sure. Are we really hurting that technology-wise? Do we need something urgently? I suppose metal casting might be nice to get workshops for that extra production. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. But then we also would need engineering. Uh, well, let's say I'm okay with both. I'll think. I'll think on. I'll think on it. Well, as soon as Vienna falls, it will be two versus one gangbang. So. Yeah, that'll probably be the end. You are correct, I cannot make a trade route with you. Sucks. So what are we researching now? Get your chariot, chariot out chariot there. Out. Is it still alive? How is it still alive? Still alive. Luck? Are you gonna move it out of there? Oh, it's yes. already. It's already. No, yeah, it's well, it's in the yeah. It's I see it. It's in the composite. Um, a currency, yeah, just currency for the markets. So, what person should I go? I could make a religion, just to fuck <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I think go for uh, a scientist. scientist. Yeah, or an engineer. Mm, they're also good. Uh, oof, whatever you like. Whatever you like. A production bonus. Yeah, I mean it's okay. If I plant an engineer on... If you plant an engineer on... what? what? I'm getting uh, iron. So if I put an engineer there, that might give me quite a bit of production, right? Yes. 
and I save time building a thingy. True. If you have a citizen to actually work it. I'm working on that. I started popping up more citizens because I have plus six happiness, which is too much. <clears throat> I'm getting iron in 12 turns, so it's pointless. Fuck, I need to choose what to what to get. I suggest put the scientist on those horses. I mean, can't go wrong with more science. And the game continues. I could also get an engineer on those horses, but yeah, probably scientist is worth more. Why is that composite getting close to my elephants? Hey, my elephants are clearing out your barbarians, man. Getting flanked by barbs. Might as well just shoot some stuff. Game's already over, so. Oh, don't be now a bad we sport. In, in no, just don't be a bad sport. No, I mean, no, if people. No see the future, I mean, it's not being a bad sport, nobody has to be forced to, you know, no, play until the yeah, bitter that's end. True. That's true, I mean... No, no, no I, I am playing to the bitter end, so I'm attacking your elephant. Yeah, no, fair enough. Sport, yeah. yeah, I have no complaints. Or... Yeah, I have a yeah, mind. True, true. So the, the Sorry, ideal here is to, 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 to inflict maximum damage. Why is a team partner of the chat, by the way? Why what? Uh, why is he off of Mumbo? I'm here. He's here? Yeah. Ah, we've, okay. been, we've, been, we've been talking this whole time. I mean, just because he, like, he's typing, I thought, why? He's angry! Okay, makes no fucking sense, but yeah. Hey, um, I have a question. See that uh, composite Style, to the... I'm, I'm oops, uh, sorry, uh, wrong uh, button. Um, so I have a question. See that composite, right? The same one we were talking about. To the top yes. and left is an elephant. You see that, right? Right. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Why can that elephant shoot that composite? There's a hill in the way. It shouldn't be able to shoot, right? He's on a hill himself. So that cancels yes. it out? Yes. So you, you uh -huh. ignore the first hill. Um, because of that, because you have high terrain. Cool, I never knew that. Yeah, and now if there was a forest on that hill, he wouldn't be able to shoot through it, right? Uh, gigs? Uh, yeah, if there's a forest there, he wouldn't, I do not believe. I think the game could benefit from... Um, Brains. Well, the game could benefit a lot of ways, but like for instance, if they had a height terrain indicator or something, because it looks nice, but it'd be cool to have like a an icon when you're shooting. Uh, there is I'm, that. If you you know you can pull up the bar and look at the range attack, right? Hmm. Because you can't always look at your ranged attack, like if your uh, turn is over and stuff. I think one of those UI mods might enable that. There's this popular UI mod that exposes a lot of the information without, you know, exposing new information. So you get to see the things you could otherwise see, but you get to see it easier. Ah, uh, can that. <laughs> wow. 
What's so bloody funny? <laughs> he just lost his work in the world. Mind you, this one, yeah, the horseman came out of the, from out of vision. Yeah. Snagged it. What are you talking about? Well, uh, he just lost his work in the horseman. Uh -huh. Like two tiles from his city. And then couldn't see the horseman. To Barbies? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty severe. Yeah, we it's we also have a, like a huge bar cleaning mission over on the um, western edge. Yeah, they all spawned behind our cities, you know. So it's like a war on two fronts. Did you uh, decide to take honor? Nope. Not me. Nope. Mm, I have full liberty. The honor bonuses, I think, are pretty shit. Although uh, there's the what's it called NQ mod that totally rebalances all the social policies and there it's like if you go honor you you actually really get a powerful military and if you go piety that actually means something you get super religion and things like that so it really does a lot of rebalancing there uh -huh. yeah I nearly never go honor I mean it's quite useless no oh, I went what is it I went honor with Mongolia, of course, I didn't have the money for it really, but it makes sense. Like, honor with Mongolia makes sense if you end up setting up a good economy and then when you get to horse archers, you get cheap upgrades. Yeah. From chariot archers. Or not yeah, horse yeah, archers. Yeah, yeah. What are they called? The Sheiks? Yeah, they have that special name thingy. The irony of honor as it is. <laughs> Or as it's like balanced in the vanilla one, is that it's backloaded. It's one of the three first trees you can take in social policies, but it's only really useful come to like mid, like or like really late game, honestly, when you can build all the barracks and other stuff, and you can you know upgrade. You have text to upgrade units with cheaply. It, it's not useful. It doesn't have enough early game power, which in part is to prevent people from just selecting it and, you know, raffle stomping everyone during the early game. So it's really got this, you know, split identity about what it's trying to do for your civ. I mean, Press go down, games, please. Oh. Yeah, that's you. Oh, I mean, unit needs orders, that's why it was telling me that, sorry. So I'm probably gonna have my spearman in position to take the city in like um, six turns. So I don't know we can probably arrange our assault on Vienna around like six turns from now. So for now, just surround and heal up, right? I'm making healing easier by building a city. Very good idea. Rostov. What are we researching? Um, let's go for engineering. Then metal casting. Then we get the workshops. Cool. I'm cool with it. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. early game strategy. Uh, that we came up with was focus on God. What text did we focus on? I think we decided to go and focus on uh, what we went mining, masonry, uh, husbandry, trapping. Yeah, we pulled the stuff for the. Or no, we did, we did pottery first. and then writing first. Yeah, right? We we did. The Great Library, it's kind of sad in a way because uh, the first thing that I think we had Bo build was a uh, settler, right? So that was when Salzburg was supposed to come out. And uh, what happened was basically, how many barbarians was it in the end? At least 
three initially and then quickly multiplied to about five or six that yeah. surrounded his worker, his, or not worker, his uh, warrior that had scouted the area and was going to escort the settler. So then what we did is we pulled uh, some units I'd built. I had, well, I had to build units and then pull it over to go help escort that settler to get to Salzburg. And uh, another unit of someone's died, I forget who. Uh, no, it didn't well, die. It was just took damage. And because of the way that you can't apparently stack uh, civilians with your teammate on their military units, we had the settler following one tile behind. So what was strange is, uh, you know, between Salzburg and Vienna, there are those couple of sheep, there's that row of three forests into a mountain. And then below that, there's there's some open space and then another row of forest. So the settler is walking along in that lower row of forest. And for whatever reason, we were not able to actually have vision of the upper row of forest. And somehow a barbarian is there two tiles away that despite, you know, Theoretically, we should be able to see two tiles away with that military unit, like the warrior standing right there. And that warrior actually should have provided zone of control to stop the barbarian from walking two tiles in and taking the settler. So I don't know what happened there, but somehow, yeah, an archer just magically waltzed in and grabbed the settler that was going to become Salzburg. So that delayed it another, you know, eight or nine turns to recover that. You know, more military units over there, so there's a lot of bullshit stuff going on that got agitating. Yeah, well, uh, as a person who plays League of Legends, I really have a lot less patience nowadays for you know non clarity and vision and when it has bullshit happenings, it just really annoys me. So that's a certain pet peeve of mine because when you don't have great clarity in your vision that's just that game design at this point. Well, watch out for those composites retreat if you have to you probably should pull back to Rostov so anyhow uh, so basically the whole strategy was to put Salzburg there and expand further, put an offensive front deny, deny, deny and that just fell apart because we didn't put up enough focus on barbarians, I guess. And the barbarians were really just um, atrocious when they upgraded. And then, of course, you got the great library about two turns, I think, two turns ahead of uh, of gigs. So that really screwed over a lot of our strat. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And that yeah. came in after the. I had to produce a, you know, another military unit to go help out you know, and get that settler free, so... I think we actually got quite lucky. I mean, I killed barbarians with my first... Uh, an encampment with my first warrior. I just stumbled upon it. And, and, Lu and like, Luigi, Toonsmith, Isa, whatever, was able to scout top of the map and get a lot of ruins. Yeah, we got a lot of this too, but the only thing that really came of them was you have discovered the barbarian encampment. Yeah, I got two ruins. Well, I got two I, ruins I, and both of them gave me more map, which was I, fucking useless. Yeah, I, I ended up getting faith and that's where how I found a pantheon. I got culture, I got gold, I got upgrades, I think I got all the good ruins or what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, you get the good ones, yeah. That's kind of why, like, if we're going to do something on this small skirmish map, we really ought to limit down what is handled by RNG. Yeah, I think we should have gone without barbarians and without uh, ruins. Yeah, that probably would be preferable. I mean, on the big maps, it usually is... It doesn't affect things as much since people have more time for their decisions to impact things before, you know, stuff comes to a head. 
I don't know, dealing fast with uh, changing environment, that's just part of the game, I think. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's well, just kind of like... I, you know, I do wonder... The barbarians did feel... Like, we always complain about barbarians, but they felt different. Like, I don't know, I, I was surprised that the barbarians teched up so fast. Well, the barbarians tech up when players tech up, so that was because we teched up fast. Yeah, yeah I guess. People were all investing in military tech, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, a civilian was captured. Motherfucking barbarians. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we're at the end of our time slot anyway, so shall we consider it a uh, done deal? Yeah, yeah. I'd say so. Alright, this was a good game. Team play is actually pretty fun. I've never tried it before, but I like this. Yeah. yeah.